I'm here today with Debbie Reynolds. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about robocall and some new legislation coming our way. And those annoying phone calls we all get on our <laughs> cell phones. That's have you right. have you gotten the, any calls where it's the first six digits of your phone number? Yes. That's oh, called that. neighborhood calling. And basically yeah. what the bad guys are doing is they're using VoIP technology to spoof and they're plugging in any number. So they can actually impersonate people you know. But they do this because they think that it increases the likelihood that you'll answer the phone. When, in fact, for me, when I see oh, those yeah. first six digits, I'm like, I'm not even going to answer it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's but, from what now? Yeah. But one of the big problems we have is no one's taken accountability for this. Uh, I think I heard AT&T is trying to, to force some authentication mechanisms. Right. But there needs to be some more teeth on this so that people can't just impersonate phone numbers or absolutely. we'll never get oh, through this. Absolutely, absolutely. So actually, so thankfully this law passed, right? Well, it's going through, it's going passed through. out of the house uh, overwhelmingly, but, Overwhelming, but yeah. they're, they're hoping that uh, it said it could happen by 2020 perhaps. Okay. But, um, you know, it's got to, I think they have to reconcile <laughs> the two bills, the House yeah. and Senate, and right. then the president has to sign it. But by the show of votes, I think everyone's in favor of let, let's tackle yeah. all these annoying robocalls. Absolutely. So, I, so the FCC, they really made a lot of headway many years ago on the do not call registry. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be sort of another layer to that that the FCC is sort of looking at. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, but I'm very annoyed <laughs> when I get robocalls. So I'm not happy about this. I'm sure no. maybe it'll happen after the election because no. the election people like to do robocalls. Well, I get tons of calls from people wanting to lend me money. <laughs> it will ring my phone at once, and then it will hit my voicemail. Mm -hmm. This woman keeps calling, saying, <laughs> I want to speak to you. It's like, and it's not even a real person. It's all yeah. automated. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. Oh, my goodness. Well, one interesting thing about the, the, the law that, or the one that they're anticipating or trying to pass, that I haven't seen in other laws like this, is like, that they're trying to force companies to create technology to be able to no. tell it's a ca call. the carriers need to enforce it. The carriers have to stop allowing unsecured void to right. impersonate calls. But so they right, they have to not allow it, but they but it specifically said they have to create if it doesn't exist, they have to create some technology to make sure they can tell a robocall. call. It's basically like we're gonna block right. any call that isn't using a means of of identity verification. Right, right and, now it's a wild west. Right. And they can't charge for it, so it's not like an extra yeah. fee. I'm sure what will happen is they'll, they'll give you another fee and then call it something else. Yeah. So and, then, and then the act, the act also increased the penalty. You know, oh. current legislation, the TCPA, the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, mm -hmm. dealt with spam faxes, mm -hmm. calls, mm -hmm. and whatnot, but uh, the robocall act is going to Boost penalties, I think, to $10,000 each. Yeah, that's a so, lot. So per incident. Per incident. So that's a lot. So that's going to drive uh, my TCPA consulting business. Yeah. Is that for absolutely. <laughs> well, if it actually makes it, I'm sure the thing about the $10,000 per incident and also forcing companies to create technology to be able to tell what a, what's a roll call. Mm -hmm. uh, corporations or the, the carriers are probably going to fight that. So we'll see. Yeah. So Debbie, what are the the likely impacts on the litigation environment as you see it if well, this legislation goes through? I think it's well. First of all, there will be companies that will, uh, you know, I'm sure there will be consumer groups that want to bundle together um, consumer complaints and probably go after these carriers to try to get these, you know, these big fines or whatever. So this could be tied up in legislation for a while. Um, you know, once the once the lawyers get their fees, you probably won't get a ten thousand yeah. dollars for incident. Well, it's going to make it a lot more. In my opinion, it will make it much easier to actually identify who's behind it because right now, people are using proxy phone numbers to call, and many of them are just total scams run out of the country. So you, you oh, can't a Nigerian spam call center. We can't really go after. But if our carriers say they're going to block right. these rogue foreign VoIP connections, right. then it will make it more secure. And ultimately, you'll you'll probably have people who opt in to the insecure network, right. and people who want 
a secure only platform where it's known who's calling them. I agree. Thank you for being on the show today. It was great to have you on again. I, I love your scarf. Thank you. You Glad always have interesting scarf. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye bye.